Hey guys, it is that time of year again. The Stanley Cup playoffs are in full effect. 16 teams are grinding it out in what might be the most grueling endurance test of all of sports. Watching these guys compete for Lord Stanley has me feeling nostalgic about hockey video games past, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to give you my top five hockey games of all time. Stanley Cup time always has me nostalgic, and before we go any further, I'm going to brag a little bit and throw up a pic of me eating Fruit Loops out of the Stanley Cup one October morning in 2004. Darren, I will forever be grateful, and no party I have ever attended since has ever topped this, nor do I think it will ever be topped. I still get chills just thinking about that day and having a priceless relic at our disposal for 24 hours. Next, before we start tearing through my list, please take a moment and click that red subscribe button if you aren't already a part of this group. I'd love to add some hockey fans as part of our community. Secondly, please keep in mind that the list I'm about to share is my personal list and opinions. It's not necessarily the best reviewed or technically appealing games out there. Nostalgia is a big weight factor for me in this list, but that said, jump down to the comments and give me your own list and maybe tell me how wrong mine is. With that out of the way, let's jump in. What better place to start than the iconic ice hockey for the NES? I'm showing the Famicom disc version here and you'll notice that I can choose Japan as one of the teams, a choice that's not available in the US cart. I suppose it'd be a bit disappointing to not be able to choose your home country on this. Of course, on the US version, Japan is then replaced with Sweden, which I think I can safely say without controversy, has a much better national team. I never owned this game in my youth, but enjoyed playing it at friends, and I would occasionally borrow it from time to time. About 10 years ago, Other Joe, as seen on the channel here from time to time, gifted me a nice, complete in-box version of this. Definitely a worthy title and deserving of a spot on this list due to nostalgia alone, but beyond that, the gameplay was addictive for the time and a great two-player experience. The ability to customize a four-player lineup between three different player types, each with different in-game pros and cons, was also a nice touch for a game of the late 80s. Here we go, number four, Blades of Steel. This one gets ranked a little higher than ice hockey because it was my go-to 8-bit hockey game. I did own this one and love playing it. The art style switches things up from ice hockey and attempts to be a little bit more realistic as opposed to the more cartoonish look. The game itself allows you to play in a one-off exhibition or tournament mode and has three varying levels of difficulty listed as junior, college, or pro. The fighting in this was a hit at the time which cut away to a different screen and allowed you to throw head or gut shots and also block. Each player had five energy circles that functioned as a life bar and when depleted you lost the fight and were hauled off the ice giving the power play to the other team. Another element I liked was the penalty shot sequence which was granted if a fight engaged with the puck carrier in front of the defending goaltender's net. I thought the graphics for this sequence were particularly good and great at the time. My only real complaint with this game is that it can be a real mother to get help on defense when facing a barrage of shots. This is due to your D-pad simultaneously controlling your goalie and skaters at the same time. Oh, and one more complaint, Philly isn't a selectable team. Spot number three is a tie for me, and I know that's lame on an already short list, but I really couldn't decide, and I already feel pretty strongly about number two and one, so a tie it is. NHL 2K2 for the Sega Dreamcast and NHL 98 for PlayStation. First, let's address Sega's 2K Sports Series. In short, I thought it was phenomenal and really quite a pleasant surprise. I don't think anyone expected Sega to truly compete with Madden at the time, but that's exactly what they did. And I'll make the controversial statement and say not only did they compete, but they did football equally as well as EA and maybe even a little better in the 2K1 and 2K2 installments. Well, they carried that momentum forward and did a really great job offering up the 2K series for hockey, of which I thought they did a particularly great job with for the 2K2 offering. This would be the hockey game I'd close out my undergrad college years with and at the time, 
it was fresher than what EA was putting out. A few years earlier, however, EA would push its last 2D installment of its NHL series onto the 16-bit consoles and simultaneously offer a 3D installment on the PlayStation in the form of NHL 98. That PlayStation installment holds some of the best video gaming memories I have with friends and perhaps makes the list for that alone without even getting into how great the gameplay is. The summer of 98 would be my first stretch of time home from freshman year of college and I was really looking forward to reconnecting with high school friends. I spent a lot of days as a bellhop that summer and even more nights as a GM of the Philadelphia Flyers as part of a ridiculous full-length season my friends and I played out on NHL 98. We'd meet almost every night and slug through game after game after game. If you weren't present, you got simulated and lost pretty much any bragging rights you had. I don't even remember who ultimately won the cup, but I know it was a hell of a good time and a great excuse to make everyone get together on a daily basis. This is one of those great gaming bonding experiences that you just don't forget. And the statement of finish the season would become the catchphrase of that summer. Number two, Midway's open ice for the arcade and PlayStation. I'll never forget seeing this for the first time in the arcade, mostly because I was unaware that it was even being developed, but also because it was made by Midway. I was a big NBA Jam fan, and for them to be giving the same treatment to hockey, my favorite sport, that was just all too good to be true. I put a lot of quarters into this one and naturally always played as Philly with Lindros and Renberg. Also, brace yourself for this comment, but this game is the entire reason I bought a PlayStation. In fact, it was the only game I owned for PlayStation for a little over a month, and that was perfectly okay with me at the time. Although Open Ice never saw a tournament edition or any true arcade sequels, Midway most certainly drew inspiration from this with their NHL hit series on PlayStation 2, Xbox, and GameCube. This is somewhat of a forgotten gem that was lost in the wake of NBA Jam and Hang Time. If you've never had the pleasure, definitely check it out. And that brings us to number one. How could it be anything but NHL 94? This one was a game changer because it introduced the NHL license that had been missing in previous years. Up until this point, we had the cities, colors, and player names, just not the team names. That aside, the most profound change for this installment was the introduction of the one-timer. Yeah, how badass is that? I've lost track of the number of seasons I've played on this, and the tournaments we used to run on weekends at different friends' houses were numerous. On the Sega CD, this already great game got a nice bump in audio quality and included some video highlights from each of the teams. I've read that the controls are better refined on the Sega CD version as well, but I honestly never noticed much difference between my CD version and those on the cartridge. This game stands out as not only a top hockey game, but also just a flat out stellar video game in general. That's probably the true mark of excellence and the very reason this game takes the top spot on my list. And that's it everybody, that's my top five games, or six games I guess, I cheated a little bit. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and comment down below with your top favorite hockey games. Enjoy the playoffs, go Flyers, and I'll catch you next time.